Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at nuclear power. So let's get started. Nuclear power, often referred to as nuclear energy, can be used for the generation of electricity. It produces about one fifth of the UK electricity supply. In both fossil fuel and nuclear power stations, heat is used to turn water into steam. This steam then drives turbines which generate electricity. So this is the simple process of how we create electricity. The difference between fossil fuel powered stations and nuclear power stations however arises in how the heat is produced. It says here that in fossil fuel power stations, fossil fuels, for example coal, oil or gas, are burned to release heat energy. But in nuclear power stations, a process called nuclear fission is used to produce heat energy instead. And here's a picture of the inner workings of a nuclear fission reactor. So down here you have the moderator and coolant, and you have fuel rods and control rods. And the fuel rods you can imagine as thin poles which have little pellets inside them, usually uranium pellets, and that is your fuel for the nuclear fission reaction. And the control rods can be moved in and out in order to control how much nuclear fission is occurring. The moderator also acts as a control. You've also got the reactor contained within this concrete shielding. Now we are saying that the way in which reactors work is that you've got this water here which needs to be heated up in some way, and when you heat up water, you produce steam. So this steam can then travel along this pipe and can drive a turbine. And this turbine can then generate electricity. But we are saying there's a difference between nuclear fission reactors and fossil fuel power stations and how this water is heated up. So in a nuclear fission reactor like this one, we use, unsurprisingly, nuclear fission in order to heat up the water. Whereas in a fossil fuel power station, we would heat up coal, oil or gas in order to do that. Here's a similar setup of a nuclear power station and this one has a bit of movement just to show you what's going on. So here you've got the heat from the nuclear fission reactions passing along this pipe which is passing through the water and that's going to heat up the water to generate the steam. And so we have our energy change of nuclear to heat energy and then our steam is going to turn this turbine so we have heat to kinetic energy and then that movement energy drives the generator to create electrical energy. Nuclear fission reactors will also have a condenser where some of the water in this process condenses and can then be recycled and reused. Lastly, we're just going to look at some advantages and disadvantages of using nuclear power. Some advantages include that under normal working conditions, there is no pollution emitted into the atmosphere. It's also the case that a much smaller mass of fuel is required to produce the same energy output as a fossil fuel power station. Another way to think about this is instead of using massive lumps of coal in a fossil fuel power station, we could get the same energy output from using really small pellets of uranium instead. Some disadvantages of nuclear power include that the small amount of waste produced is highly radioactive and has a very long half-life, which can be as high as hundreds of thousands of years. Another disadvantage based on the first one is that this means that the radioactive waste must be stored safely, for example underground in a shielded container or deep underwater to minimise its effect on us. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.